Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer Into Reaction. What I'm looking at today is the second teaser trailer for Steven Soderbergh's Presence. And I received an interesting comment on the first teaser in which the person who commented said that it was a fake, as in the trailer. And that mystified me because why would you do that? First off, it has the name Steven Soderbergh on it. So he would be a person doing the fake? It's, it was just weird, and, and let's not forget, videos are expensive, so why it would be fake makes no sense to me. Could it be a misdirection? Possibly. Unlikely, though possibly, in the sense that a movie named Presence is what they're promoting, but it's not impossible that it is something bigger and larger than this movie seems to be which appears to be a relatively small haunted house story. But I've seen no evidence that that's the case. And not only have I not seen any evidence that that's the case, I've never heard of any such campaign associated with Steven Soderbergh. If you're talking about Joaquin Phoenix, you might have an argument there, if only because he's done weird shit from time to time. Though Steven Soderbergh and Neon, the studio that will release Presence, no evidence of it whatsoever. In any case, let's look at the second teaser trailer for Presence. Well, that was the second teaser trailer for Presence, and my God, that's an effective trailer. Not based on whether or not anything happens, because nothing does, but it implies a lot of things. The way the fonts show up as the drone, because it is a drone, moves down and captures more of the house, and more of this message scrolls across the screen, it becomes slightly unnerving slightly tense and the drone lowers to the level of the doorway and enters it. This is a great trailer. Once again, it tells you virtually nothing, but it implies so much. The idea that the presence trailers, there have been two teasers at this point, are fakes is to my mind so unlikely as to be virtually impossible because they are too effective. They are very good trailers, and they're good in a way that only a director of Steven Soderbergh's character can pull off, which is to say, virtually nothing happens in either trailer, but there's this atmosphere of tension and potentialities for violence and horror. Just the fact that I'm saying this so emphatically says to me that this movie can potentially be great. So what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trailer Into Reaction. Do you agree, disagree? Let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace.